Hey y'all, I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And this is the Whiskey Warehouse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, today we got a special one. Uh, actually, we see this a lot on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, social media, whatever social media, right? Right. Uh, barrel Craft Spirits um, out of Lexington, Kentucky. That was Louisville. Yeah, you're right. Louisville, Kentucky. Sorry. Woo, they're going to kill us. <laughs> um, kind enough to send us these uh, sample bottles. Uh, this one is a double gold. This one is a double gold. And this one's double gold. At the same frame spirits competition. The only place that matters. The only place that matters. Uh, Fred Minnick's Whiskey of the Year 2020. At least the uh, 21 was. Um, yeah. That 21 is a... Uh, excuse me. Aged six to ten years, uh, best small batch, and uh, barrels from Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. So there should be some uh, MGP product in there. Yeah. Uh, would be interested to know who the Kentucky, or not the Kentucky, the uh, Tennessee distillery is. Yeah. Too many in Kentucky to kind of pick and choose. Right. Which, I mean, there's, there's Dickel, Jack Daniels. <laughs> And a couple other ones, but yeah, there's not too many. All right. Uh, Up on the ears, too. Yeah. I'll, I think they sourced for a little bit, but then they're... I think they're, they're on their own juice yeah, now, now, for they sure. Are. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Our favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to start today on 21, which is this bottle here. It's uh, 106.34 on the, on the proof, so it should be... Pretty nice. Pretty light barrel proof. I don't know anything about these, like as far as flavor notes, anything like that. Right. We just are going into the, look at me, I just said that we were going to take off the tape and. <laughs> it's all good. Ooh. Now look, it's not real cork, but we didn't get a real bottle, so. I don't see the point in putting real corks in sample bottles. I mean, TC Whiskey does it. You trying to shit on them? I'm not trying to shit on them. I'm just saying it's, I don't know. Ooh, that's a nice color, too. Ooh. That's a nice color. Oh, that goes over there. Durr. What is it, 106? Oh, yeah, 106.34. Yep. Just over 100 proof. Should be pretty good. Yes, it should. All right, Nick. What do we, uh, what do we want to talk about with this? Not too much. This is supposed to be really good stuff, so. Yeah, I've seen it. Um, I have family in Michigan around Kalamazoo, St. Joe, and I have seen a couple of bottles of their bourbon up there. So it is in that area, but I haven't seen it around here no, that much. No. That's kind of a, this is an oddity. Right. So that when the chance came to review probably, this, it was kind of a jump on it. Right. So yeah, I have seen this around the Michigan area. It's not prevalent around here, but I probably should have picked up a bottle. Cause I didn't know much about it back then, but. Apparently it's good. It's good juice. Good juice. Uh, expectations. Expectations. I'm glad you remembered that because I always forget. Um, I expect this to be good because I've heard good things about it. Yep. Um, score. I'm estimating the the high 80s, 90s, maybe. Yeah, probably. I would say. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna expect some flavor from this. Some nice like complexity. Mm -hmm. uh, there was something on there that I was reading last night where they picked out different barrels from each distillery and one they wanted was like buttery the next one would be floral and then the next one after that would have like a smokiness to it right so there's three different things going in here uh, and I'm interested to see I'm expecting butterscotch butterscotch and uh, also like a nice salted caramel okay yeah uh, usually score wise I think we're gonna I'm shooting for a 90 on this 90 I want to say that this is legendary, but we will see. We will see. Let's check out the legs. Color and legs. I already got a couple come down. Yeah, they're nice, thick ones. So look at that, man. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, all the way around. That's nice. Uh, color, nice copper. Amberish. Yeah, it's copper. Darker than usual. It's beautiful. For the proof, it's, I think. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you're going to like the nose. Ooh. It's grainy. Cinnamon. I get like a little bit of fruit. A 
I've only got one good smeller right now. Tiny bit of fruit. I can mostly baking spices on this. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe a little bit of rye. It smells pretty good. It does smell good. Let's uh, let's give it a go. <clears throat> we'll come back, circle back into the nose after our first sip, and see what we can pick out from at least the first one. Okay. So cheers, buddy. Cheers. There's a little bit of rye on there. A little bit. I got a little peanut. And then like nice oak. Like a charred oak flavor. I can get that. It definitely drinks. At least for me, it's a little higher. It burns when it goes down. It's a little hot. Yeah, it's a little warm. But it's not off-putting. No. Very tasty. It's good. Wow. For that, the second taste should, you know, yep. be the deciding taste. There's vanilla. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe a little caramel. There's <laughs> something in there that I can't pick out, and I wish I could. I know, I'm gonna say I get this a lot, but I ain't getting a little bit of mint on there. It's a touch. Mm, maybe, I don't I don't pick it up, but it's been a while since I just picked up some mint. And... Yeah. Just. Traditional bourbon flavors I'm mostly getting here. Yeah, let's uh, go for the second one. Maybe some black cherry. Maybe. <clears throat> mm, there's a little, lot smoother. A little caramel. Vanilla is definitely prevalent. Yep, for sure. Mm. The only fruit to pick up is cherries. I don't get much citrus. No. Dark fruits. It's got a nice woody flavor to it. It does. It's not over, like, over oak. It's like, uh... It's a good balance. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Well-rounded. I like it. A lot of bourbons put too much on the, the oak, which is a big turn-off for me. Yep. You want, like, a nice balance in, in, of complexity. Uh, for this one, do we want to read off what they got for their, their notes, or... Um, yeah, we can since we put our notes out there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, see how ours compared to theirs. <clears throat> Let's see here. So we mainly got vanilla caramel, a little bit of cherry, uh, oak, cinnamon, and a touch of mint. So we are on 21. And I get some honey too, but honey caramel kind of interchangeable. Honey so, like a light caramel. Flavor notes. <clears throat> Opens up with a tangy blackberry note. Hmm. I didn't get that. Supported by a dry oaky character, which we would said nice oak. Yeah. Blonde tobacco, sunflower seeds, iced tea, and card cardamom. Yeah. Gradually joined by a growing peppermint note. Oh. Interesting, Nick. Huh. Sweet pastry notes. Ooh, I, I could actually see that, yeah. Some pastry notes. Mm hmm Whoever did this little review here, their palate's on point. Oh, yeah. Uh, milkweed, pollen, and peach skin. What the fuck's milkweed? It's, a. Uh, it's hard to describe, man. Have you had it? I've never eaten it, but I've seen it. Is it like an herb? Yeah. It grows, it's kind of like a weed that grows on the side of the road. Oh. It's kind of, it's a cool thing. Palette. Rich, nutty cocoa butter supports ample macadamia nut, nougat, and, uh, tonka bean. There was orange, nuts on there. You said that. Orange blossom. Honey and apricot are joined by more exotic notes of rose, loganberry, and sumac. You're fucking specific on that. <laughs> I'm going to go in for this last one, man. Yeah, that's a shit. Ooh, there's the honey. Yeah. I don't get apricot. That's kind of a weird one for me. I kind of get that a little bit. It's like almost orange, but it's not. It's like a, like a almost peachy, but it's not. Finish. Blackberry note from the nose returns alongside elderberry and quince paste that evolve into lingering spicy notes of cocoa nib, aniseed, and raspberry leaf. I've never had a raspberry leaf. No. 
I haven't either. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about the score here, buddy. Ooh, it is super sweet on like the finish. It mean, just kind of the oil. That's the blackberry. Like, but it's like a peppery blackberry. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like that. What are we giving this, Nick? I'm gonna shoot for. I don't know, dude. I'm on the edge. I'm right at 90, but I'm not sure if I'm, it's 90 yet. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, I don't know why, but I wasn't getting as much as I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to go ahead. This is very good. Uh, this one here is very good. Batch 21, mm, 87. Look, it's high. It's good. It's just I'm looking for that wow factor. Um, Ooh. Dude, taste it again. You get the berries. The yeah, berries. yeah, it's there, but I, I want the wow on the, from start to finish. I don't want just like to sniff it and be like, mm, this smells like bourbon. I want it to. You got to go looking for it. It's punch like me in kinda, the nose. It's kind of complex. And then also the, the flavor. Uh, it was good. It's very good, actually. Um, just not up there with my legendary status right. stuff yet. Uh, we're getting close, though. It's very close. This is. Stamp of approval on that sure. one. I like the, the graphic. You like, you see yeah, that? that's funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put it at 89. 89. Yeah. Oof. Dropped a little bit. That's all right. That's good. It's, it's definitely um, um, distinctive to me. Definitely on that ending. On yeah, the it's, black, it's black very berry. sweet after it goes. I like that. Yeah, like it's still in my mouth. It's, I haven't it's tasted a bourbon that has that specific sweetness. That's, I like that. That is very good. We're going to have to save this uh, to review standalone mm -hmm. we'll come back to it at another point in time okay. kind of like the ragged branch stuff what's next <clears throat> batch number 22 116.6 a little higher yep just a little bit not too bad nope this one barrels from kentucky and indiana so we got two barrels uh one gold in san fran five-year bourbon Mashville is corn, rye, and malted barley. Uh, I am going to expect, kind of like uh, the Makers, or not Makers, uh, Woodford Reserve mm -hmm. in this one, uh, as far as the malted, Woodford malted. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to go ahead and say that this is going to be chocolatey. Okay. That's my expectation. A little bit, I'm expecting it to be a little bit different in flavor. I almost want to say that I expect it to be better than that I definitely expect it to be better than that uh, especially with the uh, 116 uh, I should have some nice flavor yeah definitely. pour us up Johnny Poor man, that's yeah. like dead nuts on the, on the last one. Hell yeah. All right. Color. Color. Beautiful. Not much darker. No, it's about the same, yeah. I'd say. Ooh, it's floral. It is. It's got like a nice floral scent to it. It's not as spiky as the other one is mm -hmm. on the nose. Mm -hmm. Like, I can, you know, go fishing with my nose in this. Stick my nose right in there and does not burn at all. But yeah, very floral, for sure. <sighs> Something about this, man. It's got like a, it does have a rye kind of a finish in there. Ooh. I, I, I think I might have tilted it a little too far and stuck my nose in it because I just got burnt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting much here. It smells good. It's just, I think the floral notes just kind of hit you. It's overpowering. Is there something else? I can smell my water. Yeah. It's just no, it's floral. basically floral and rye spice. Like, that's that's it. That's all I can get is rye. Same. Yeah. 
Like this smells almost like uh, Sazerac. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. And but there's no yeah. baking spices there. It's kind of flat. There's a little vanilla. <laughs> Just a hint of maple. Yeah. Eh. It is a little, a little underwhelming. Flat. Yeah. <clears throat> the floral notes, like, we're a big fan of that, so that's mm -hmm. kind of a, a wow factor, like, bing. Yeah, you don't see that in mini bourbons. Let's go for it, buddy. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, shit. Hmm? Hold on. Legs are uh, coming down a little... Ooh, there's a nice one. <laughs> Nick will give you the his first impression taste. Ooh, that's nice. Better than the last one? I think so. It punches you in the face with that floral note. Does it? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Mmm. Mmm. There's the salted caramel that I was looking for. And it is floral. Mm -hmm. Almost Blanton's esque. Yeah. And, ooh, dude, breathing in. Ooh. What? Vanilla. Ooh, and, and like the caramel. Mm hmm. Dude, this is. And it's hot. It feels nice, Kentucky hot going not, down. It's not as sharp as the other one, which is kind of, kind of crazy. It's a lot smoother going down to me. No, I, I would say they're both about at the same point for me, as far as like nice Kentucky hugs. Yeah, definitely full of caramel vanilla. But this, there. this, uh, just breathing tastes so good to me right now. Like I did not have that with this. No. But with the other one, freaking money. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like that was kind of hot, kind of burned yeah. you a little bit. Yeah. But this one isn't like that. I have straight up like vanilla caramel tannins just sitting on my tongue. Like it's. It does not go away. It doesn't dissipate after your first sip. And that was sip one. Yeah. I'm going to get a lot more flavor on the next one. I'm about to get punched in the face. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mmm. It's real good. If you swish it, you get a little corn. Touch of pepper and orange. Mm. Yeah, I would say you're right. But mostly that floral note. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And this doesn't give me the spits. It doesn't do anything like mm -mm. Me either. That's really good. It makes my mouth water, but because of flavor. <clears throat> like my mouth is like, give me more. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little sip of water. And I'm going to try this again. Ditto. Ooh. And even after the water, the that floral flavor is still there. It's a nice finish. That Long. is really good. I, I'm going to say that the, with the finish on that, that's there's a wow factor. I would say written all over this. From the nose to the palate to the finish. Yeah. I'm going to say all, all three wow factors. Absolutely 100% wow factors. That we're looking, I would say that I, at least I'm looking for. I don't know if it has the same effect on on you that it does for mm -hmm. me, but it's definitely a lot. the 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 two of these the the two of these vary so differently. It's it's almost crazy. Yeah, they're completely <laughs> different. Completely, I don't get any fruits on this besides citrus. Just that floral note with the caramel, vanilla. You get a little bit of nut on there. It's really good, but I don't know. You say wild factor. Your wild factor is different from mine. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, Nick gave his score first last time. I'm going to go ahead and give mine first. This is going to be a 91 for me. Mm. This has everything mm. that I'm looking for in it. Uh, it's sweet. It's floral it's got the nice burn to it the nose is not overly aggressive uh it does have that wow factor that i'm looking for on all three phases of this uh yeah 91 hmm. excellent 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 bourbon that's not that's not a porch sipper though in the middle of summer that would be more of like a, a yeah, winter yeah, time that's a little hot for the uh the summer mm -hmm. um i don't know man I think I'm going to put this in a 90. I had a 90. That's still a wow factor. Stamp of approval. Killed it. Killed it. 
Uh, let's see what we got here, Nick. Flavor notes. Mm-hmm. Appearance, old leather with polished brass buckle. I would say that that's actually very true. Mm-hmm. Nose, the rye grain is most immediately present. Has a yellow chanters and expanding in the direction of juniper berry, <clears throat> cream of fennel soup, and angelica. Decadent, delicate floral, alternating between elderberry and wintergreen. So we got those. We got the floral. We got the rye. Yeah. Um, kiwi and white peach. Hmm. That's subtle fruitiness. So we did talk about the fruitiness. Yeah. I got lots um, of Well integrated oak lays a gentle <clears throat> foundation of ooh, cookie, vanilla toffee, and cola. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Palette rich, entry, oil, and oily and sweet. Mm-hmm. Creamy textures invoke, invoke flan. And cappuccino. The oak guides the flavor with some with sweet tea, s'mores, and sugar cane. Root beer and cinchona bark ensure the rye spice is not neglected. Meanwhile, the underlying spirit provides honeysuckle, honeydew, melon, and candied apricot. Mm. Finish. The sweet tea lingers, accompanied by chicory Cafe, cafe a loot and cherry hearing. It, it fades delicately <laughs> on rhubarb and peppermint candy. God. Look, so, so much you will that. never get that review from Nick and I. <laughs> Not one time will we sit down and say, this smells like a fresh baked pineapple crumb. Like, that shit's not going to come out of our mouth. Yeah. We might say, like, it smells like a fresh baked apple pie. Yeah. Uh, that's, or, that's very specific. Or, like, pie crust. Uh, you will never get honeysuckle from Nick and I. If we we're talking about honey, we're talking about regular honey. Well, oh. Honeysuckle is just light honey, like, very, very light honey. It's just, have you ever had a honeysuckle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah. It's very sweet. Yeah. It's nectar. It's sugar. Uh, but I would never be like, Delicate aromas of honeysuckle. Like, I'm glad you guys have that on there. <laughs> uh, I know you guys are going to watch this. I'm not trying to trash you guys, but we're working class guys. and uh, Well, that's their full-time job is tasting, exactly. so they know what they're doing. Yeah, But Nick and I will not sit here and, and be like, yeah, this is what we got. <laughs> this this is, is very, very, very good, though. Very good bourbon. <laughs> yeah. It is. What is that, three? <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very good. Very, very. Yeah, this is our stamp of approval. We've already given it that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Now here comes the one that I am looking forward to, honestly, the The most. most. Mm -hmm. Just because we're not rye guys. We're not rye guys. Uh, Sazerac is the the par. And if this can unseat Sazerac, I think we gave Sazerac a 94. Yeah, that was high. So So, if this can unseat Sazerac. And to be honest, Sazerac didn't really taste like a rye. No, it's more bourbon-esque. More bourbon-esque. It's delicious. Uh, So... The rye. Pulled barrels from Indiana, Tennessee, Kentucky, Poland, and our neighbors to the north, Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. That's the only part of the song I know. Uh, let's see here. The age on this is from four years <clears throat> to 14 years on the barrels. Big gap. Huge, huge gap. You know how much your body changed from when you were 4 to 14? Like, <laughs> think about that. Yeah. Uh, we don't know anything about it. No uh, mash bill on this, so we can't tell you what percent it is. Right. At yeah. least 51%. Yeah, at least. Um, expectations. Floral. And I'm going to expect kind of like a rye bread kind of flavor on this. Yeah. Uh, and I expect it to be in the 90s or around the 90s. Let's see. Are they known for their rye? No, I They're don't not. think so. <laughs> but I mean, most most of the time I'm looking for, especially because I don't see these on the shelf. Mm-hmm. I don't talk to anybody about them because right. I, this is the first that He's trying we've to. got to see it. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm going to expect maybe... Mid eighties, high eighties. I'm not sure. Like expectations, it's not going to give up, get a ninety. 
So um, I'm expecting pine, ooh. pepper, um, kind of like the uh, Traverse City whiskey. So How it's it. piney. Yeah. Okay. Maybe with some some that. other sweetness in there. I'm not gonna say what though. Because you don't know, or you. Because I I don't know okay. exactly. Okay. Uh, this is batch zero zero three. Proof. Excuse me. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. Get that Rona out. Yep. Allergies, Nick. Sneezing is not a Rona symptom. Oh. Anyway. Who knows? 116.7. Same as the this one, right? Oh, that's just point one more. Woo! All right. I got to save this because I got to use it later. I got something that I can use some electrical tape on. Okay. Uh, what do we know? This is a gold medal winning spirit. They all are. Yes, all of them. Gold medal. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Pour it up? Pour up. Drink. Sit down. Drink. Stand up. Drink. Drink. Lay down. Drink. 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 Yeah, whatever Drink. it is. I don't know. What I don't listen to rap. So I don't either. You know what I'm talking about. I don't. Nick, you used to listen to Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa and Kid Cudi. Back in the old days. Day and night. What? Yeah. That was a good shit. I about this. The color's a lot lighter. Damn it! <laughs> I'm off by a little bit. <laughs> God, you scared the shit out of me. God. No, I, you know, I wanted to keep with the theme. Yeah. Even flow all the way across. A little heavy, but it's all good. The color, a little lighter, I think. Still kind of dark. It is light. But it is lighter. I'd say almost a little cloudy. It kind of is. Yeah. Interesting. Legs. legs. Show me your legs. Sick. Spread your legs. That's some nice legs. Ooh, yeah, there's some nice ones coming down. Yeah. Some are thick and some are really thin, though. Like, that one's pretty thick. Then you come over here and look at these. Oh, no, they start getting thicker. They do. Beautiful viscosity. It is. I like the color a lot. Honestly, like, if I could paint my room the color of bourbon, I'd do it. Oh, yeah? I would. Hmm. It's just like, if I could get the same effect, like a reflective kind of... Like a, like a shiny... Yeah, like a reflective gold kind of amber. amber color. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be kind of cool. <sighs> Nose? Nose goes... Oh yeah, that's that's rye right off the bat. That is rye. Yep, but it's not as pungent as I thought it'd be. Uh, this smells totally different than uh, than Sazerac. However, I will say that the close comparison will be TC's rye whiskey. That's immediately what it brought me to is Traverse City's rye whiskey. Really? You yep. think it smells like that? Yep. I don't think it does. It does have like a little pininess to it. A little bit. It's got some bourbon-esque notes to it, too, though. Are you talking about the vanilla and the... Bur the vanilla and the caramel. Woo! A little bit in there. It is. It's hot on the nose, too. <coughs> it is hot. I'm getting that pine now. What are we expecting now? I'm expecting, like, hard rye. Oh, yeah? Like, I want to say it's going to be sweet, but it doesn't have that, like, brown sugary nose that... We're accustomed to with right. like bourbons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to match up to Sazerac, in my opinion. Nope, definitely not. But it still might be very good. Mm -hmm. uh, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice ride. The pine is like balanced really well with this sweet taste. Like mm -hmm. I said. It's like sweet and salty. Yeah. Uh, almost bourbon-esque. Yeah, it is. On the flavor, but the nose, like... Nose you could not... put me in this... He could put that in front of me every day, and I would be like, that's a rye. 100% I would tell you that's a rye. Mm -hmm. Just because that does not have the same notes that these two do. My or... opinion, the taste is kind of off from the nose, in my opinion. Mm. It's a hard left. Because like, you're like, oh, it smells like rye. Smells like pine. You're all the way over here, right? Mm -hmm. And then, whoosh, 
Nope, sorry. You're fucking coming back this way, buddy. Uh, <clears throat> that is really good. It is really good. And that um, that almost went bourbon on the on the flavor. Like it It's like a good. bourbon with like little pine notes mm-hmm. to it. It's nice. I like that. Excuse me. It does it honestly like right now this has more of a Sazerac smell to it than it did before. Pine. But there is definitely pine on the nose. Pine, black pepper. Hmm. I don't get much else really. caramel. Yeah, the traditional bourbon flavors accompanied by black pepper, pine. It does have a lot of piney. It like does. not a lot, but it's it's I there. think it's nice. It's balanced. Yeah, it is. It's not overly powered like T C whiskey's was. Mm-hmm. So Nick, I can't finish this. Uh, it's very good. I can't finish it. <laughs> it's so good of, that you can't finish it. It's a lot of uh, high proof stuff. Right. And uh, all I had today was muffins. Mm-hmm. Cassandra made some really good blueberry muffins this morning. They were fantastic. I loved them. I ate three of them, but I don't think it was enough. It does so, not taste cast strength or barrel proof. Definitely not. No. I put this at like a 90 range. 90, 94. Around there. It's smooth. Oh, for the proof. The proof. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, not, uh, not the uh, score. Not yet. <clears throat> what you, which you put it at? For the score? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is a tough one. It's delightful. I like it. Definitely tough. Ooh. Exceeded my expectations, for sure. It's somewhere between 90 and 94. Mm. This honestly might be matched up with Sazerac. I agree. Based on flavor alone. It might be better than Willow. Maybe. I'd have to go. I haven't had that yet. Right. We'll do that soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a 94. And I'm same, same match four. it. Yep. Match it with Sazerac. This is very, very pleasant. Um, that's high accolades. You know, mm-hmm. Especially considering we've had some... Not so great. Rise. Rise, yeah. Uh, yeah, this nice, was everything man. that I would expect to kind of get from a, from a rye. At least as a bourbon drinker. This is very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's tough. I love Sazerac, but damn. If you're looking for a rye, this is like... it. I feel like this is your transition rye. From bourbon to... Or from, yeah, yeah from, bourbon to rye. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, Sazerac is so sweet and, like, floral, and it's just kind of got all these other things could going be cat- on. If you blind tasted it, it could be categorized it as would bourbon. Go, yeah, probably. Yeah. With, like, basically like a hot rye bourbon. This tastes like bourbon, but it has rye notes. Right, the nice rye notes, not the nasty-ass, yeah. like, rye dough and, you know, those I like weird this. tastes. This is good. I would drink this. Even on a summer day, I'll say that because it does not drink as it's proof. No. <clears throat> you know what? Shit. <laughs> I might go ninety-five, man. Fuck, you're putting this above Saz. I might. I don't know. It's close. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna influence your decision. I don't know. The only reason why Shit. I would was because um, this categorizes more as a rye than Sazerac does. It has more of those rye characteristics. Yep. But it just takes those levels and just it's just so good to sip on. So let me ask you this. In conclusion. In conclusion. To the to the rye one. I have to we'll taste it side by the, side, but we'll talk about the well when we do the uh full on review of this, we'll pull out Saz and do that. Okay. Uh if you had Saz and this mm-hmm. and there's no like worry about like how much you have or whatever, like we'll say you have three bottles of this, three bottles of Saz. And they're excuse me, both sitting in front of you. Which one are you reaching for? Does it depend on the day? Or does it depend on which one you scored higher? You know what? You put it in that way. I'd probably reach for the Saz because I'm a bourbon drinker. That's mm-hmm. my number one spirit I drink. And Saz has those characteristics <laughs> more. So if I'm reaching for a whiskey, it'd probably be Sazerac. 
Okay. So I'm probably gonna put this on ninety four. I'm gonna say it's tied. Yeah, easy, easy. I just wanted to kind of give it perspective. Right. I'd do the same thing, honestly. Uh, and for me, like it would definitely be a really hard choice. But very I, excellent rye, though. Again, it's gonna come down to. We're for more me, familiar with bourbons and yeah. rye, so we, and we Saz don't has really that, know what we're talking about. That uh, that it factor for us. That uh, <clears throat> sweetness. Uh, it does have that sweetness. This but... is very good, though. Damn good. Definitely, if you see it in the store, this is getting the freaking big, huge stamp of approval right across this, you know, whatever Nick's going to do with it later. Uh, do you, um, do you know the prices on the full bottles? Uh, they're in the $50 range, I think. That's what I was guessing. I don't know. I, don't know. <clears throat> I can't remember what they were when I went to uh, Kalamazoo because they, they had a big selection of bourbon and whiskey. And I did see those up there along with TC Whiskey's line and a bunch of other really unicorn stuff that isn't around here. <laughs> More expensive than the 80s? Yeah. Look, for the five year, $80. This is? Yeah. Damn. I won't put it that high. No, definitely not. I'd pay 50 I would have trouble justifying these to Cassandra. Yeah. But I'm really glad that we got to try them. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. This is fantastic. It's awesome. This this glad whole to review it. This whole thing, I'm sorry that this one didn't score legendary status for me. This one here. Uh but they were all but I gotta very, I gotta very applaud good. the very unique blackberry notes. Yeah. They were very delicious. If I had to buy one of these it'd probably be that one. Just for the uniqueness. Hmm. This I one's very good too. That, I know that you, one would be mine. Right? Yeah, that's what I was guessing. Because that's that's your wild factor. That's that's kind of yeah. mine. I like the fruity. What'd you score that one at? Eighty nine. Um, yeah, eighty nine ninety. Okay. Yeah, it does have like that a one little, goes down a lot better. It that's does. It just takes like easy. Right. Well. If this if this had the smoothest of that, this would be that. Yeah. In my opinion. I I think I would have to agree. I think part of it was that this burned like a motherfucker. It did, down. dude. I don't know why. It's it, low proof, it, too. For it, uh, barrel proof. It might be like a high, high, high rye. rye. Yeah. I think they much rye, but you know, who knows? You get that, you know, yeah. off the road weed, milk weed, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you stop by and take a bite out of a weed on the yeah. side of the road? Yeah. It tastes uh, like anything, anything else we have to cover before we uh, um, finish up? I don't think so. Um, 30 minutes of solid. We'll, uh, we'll link their website in the description, so definitely check these guys out. Um, very, very good bourbon. Not sure if it's 80 bucks status, but definitely in the 50 range, I'd say. Yeah, 50, yeah, 60. 50, 50 60. Yeah. Definitely uh, would buy them if they were in that range. Yes. Because sure. at least with the wife, I wouldn't have to be like, spend $80 on a bottle of whiskey. And she'd be like, why did you spend $80 on a bottle of whiskey? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's tough, dude. Just because I wanted to. Right. I think it just comes down to your financial situation. Anybody that would be willing to spend 100 bucks on a bottle would probably be A-OK with this. Yeah, I've only done that maybe once or twice, so... It's on my list. It's got to be good. Before I die. It's got to be good. It's got to be fucking good. That's why I'm trying to get some stag. What's good? Dude, I saw this fucking guy on Instagram. I can't remember who it was. Someplace in Florida, about three bottles of stag for 107 bucks a piece at a fucking Walmart. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. That would be dope. I'm so jealous. We'll never see that, Nick. I th I th Not even close. I screenshot his receipt, so if, we ever go, or if I ever go down there, I'm going to hit up that Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> it was $107 last time that I was here. All right. Uh, in conclusion, this has been the Whiskey Warehouse. Use your imagination. Put some whiskey behind us. Uh, yeah, we still working on it. I appreciate the. We did support. get a new camera, so we're just waiting for that to get in. Yes, some high quality. So we're upgrading now to uh, YouTuber status. We, we. All right. Da, danke schön. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? All right. See, si, senor. Let's get the fuck out of here. GTFO. All right. New reviews coming. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>